I just got out of Dollar Tree and I am blown away by some of the fun surprises that I found of all the new spring things. So I definitely had to make this video impromptu, wasn't planning on it, had something else planned, but I needed to show you all of the new things at Dollar Tree right now. Plus, I'm going to show you at the end of the video all the things that I hauled that I didn't show you while I was shopping. Let's start off in the Easter section because that is where most of the new finds, scores, and surprises can be found. Loving all of these little tablewares that you can use for an Easter party, or maybe you're doing an Easter brunch, you could hold ice cream in these. Lots of cupcake liners. I was actually really surprised to see how many different cupcake liners that they had right now in different colors and also in different styles. They had all sorts of different Easter ones, but if you wanted to use these throughout the year, you might want to pick up the plain colored ones. They also had the mini ones too so if you do mini muffins that might be a good option these little easter spatulas are super cute they have little easter decorations on the side and they come in a couple of different colors which is a lot of fun you could pair this up for a little easter gift if you wanted to with some of the other items they have here's all of the table covers that they have which match the other cups that i showed you so they got really matchy matchy this season so you can find one that will match every other thing that they have in the store we see the ice cube trays just about every year so this isn't something new but i know a lot of my subscribers out there will use these for math activities and sensory play and of course you can use them for making ice cubes if you want and then we have these really cute adorable bunny molds they come in a couple different colors so you can use these for baking or you can use them for some sensory play too i'm really liking all of the dish towels these are kind of spring mixed in with easter i have another clip up here that i'm going to show you of just the easter ones that i've been seeing in the stores so be on the lookout for both of those they all have really cute patterns on them then we have some table confetti. This was kind of a fun surprise to see because it comes with so many in one package. You can use this in sensory bottles or even for your table scatter. Here's a little glimpse of the little sippy cups they have with the straws. They have little designs on the side and they come in all these different colors. And then they also have these really cute treat buckets with the chicks on them. I thought those were fun. And then they had some pink ones with the eggs. And right here at the end, one with a couple of bunnies on them. They have a little handle, which makes it a lot of fun. The headbands were really fun this year we had some with flip sequence in two different colors the blue and the pink and we had these these are from last year as well they look like little peep bunnies on the ears and then we have the flexible ear ones too which are the more traditional bunny ones so these are a great deal if you are dying easter eggs this year they have a couple of options all from the dudley brand and then here's a little easter egg tray if you're going to do some hard boiled eggs it might be fun to put it on i was counting to see how many eggs are on there and this came in two different colors the purple and the green but i bet there's the blue and the pink out there somewhere a little glimpse at all the other decorating kits that they have i showed a little bit of these in my last shop with me but it looks like i have the full selection here of, of all of them these little gumball machines were around last year, but they're too small to fit gumballs, but you could do like mini M&Ms in there. And then we have a whole bunch of Easter basket selections. So your Easter basket stuffers. These we see every single year. We have some glitter putty too, and a couple different colors in egg shaped containers. And then we have the stamps. I love the stamps for activities, especially they're seasonal. You can see them in every single different season. Bunny erasers, these are super cute. And I'm gonna show you and talk about them a little bit more in my haul later. We also have the notebooks. These come a couple to a package so there's a really good value there and they come in different bunny shapes egg shapes chick shapes we see these every year too they are the non-drying foam that you can mold and shape into different things you guys have told me in the past that you really do think this one works well and then we have these little treat bags they're burlap treat bags and at the top it looks like bunny ears which is super cute they come four to a package so this is a really good find too and then of course we have your plastic treat bags which come in a couple of different styles too and they always have the ones that you can use to wrap a giant Easter basket. Let's get on to all of the Easter eggs. There is a lot to show you this year that are new styles. This one right here, the dinosaur we've seen before in the past, but we do have some new styles like these with little bunny feet put footprints on the side. The sports ones are from last year as are these little chick ones and they also have the bunny ones. Now I'm so glad that they brought back these. These are the carrot ones. Pretty sure we saw these last year. They just have some designs printed on them and they come in two different 
different styles. We have the speckled eggs, which look a little bit more realistic and they are also smaller. Easter basket grass, we have the traditional paper style here and all the different colors. But this year we also have the ones that are scented and they smell like marshmallows. They're from the Peeps brand, so that's why they smell like marshmallows. And we have the green, pink, and blue. And I think there's also a yellow. Another repeat from previous years are these containers. They are egg shaped containers. They come in different colors, different styles. And then they also have the smaller ones over here and you can put candies or treats or just maybe have a giant egg in your egg hunt. Back on over to the Easter eggs. We have some metallic ones. We have a sea themed one with a couple different options inside of here for fish and starfish and sharks. We've seen these zoo type animal ones before in the past and they are super cute. They come in two different styles. And then we also have some unicorn ones here too. A new find, I think, were these around last year? I don't quite remember, but they are cupcakes in two different orientations on the side. And you could also use these in year round activities with your kids. And then we have some really pretty metallic ones. Oh yes, the shell ones are so cute. I highly recommend those. We have some crosses, I tell you, all of these Easter eggs, they just keep on going. There are a lot of different options. And in my haul, I'm gonna show you some other options that I got that I'm not showing you right now. So definitely watch to the end for that. A little glimpse at all of the different Easter egg baskets. They had quite the selection. Of course, when you first see them put out and they're stocking the shelves, this is the time to select one if you're going to use these. Most of them are made out of plastic, but there were a few cardboard slash fabric ones to choose from, like these mermaid ones, and a couple of different options and sizes that you can pick from too. Just giving you a really good glimpse of the different styles that they had at this store. There's an Easter bunny gnome. Is that a thing? I guess it's a thing. <laughs> I really like the sports baskets too. They're a lot of fun and you can use those for springtime activities. Here's the part where I take you through all of the decor, just to give you a glimpse of what they have. I don't go individually, but I want you to see all the different things that they have and all the options that they have. Once again, they usually have a pretty good selection. I really like this one right here with the hippity hop. And then they had a farmhouse selection. This stuff looks really, really good. They also had these garlands that were all kinds of different styles and the eggs with the gingham print. The carrots I thought were adorable. So I thought these were just looking really, really like Hobby Lobby home goods style. And they also had these really cool carrot garlands as well. Very impressed with this Dollar Tree. Very, very impressed. Quite a glamorous selection on some of these Easter finds. And then the signage for the kind of rustic home farm look is really, really cool too. You guys have to tell me which one is your favorite. Some more signage as I turn around the corner. I'll have you take a glimpse and I'll be right back. Finally, some window clings are back. I haven't seen the style here in this full sheet in quite some time. I don't know what was up with that, but we have some great Easter window clings, which I love for the preschool age because you can put these on the window and they love to peel and stick them off. So this is a really great value. Plus you can reuse them year after year. How adorable is this soap dispenser? At one store I saw a chick, but at another store I found the bunny. Tell me that's not cute. You'd probably pay about $8 for this over at Target. Here's some more Easter basket stuffers, some books. These are board books, which are great for the toddler age. They had quite the selection, about eight different styles in these. So you can kind of pick out which one you like. These are just fun read along early reader books and they are made out of that board material. So they're really nice for the young ones. We have our golden eggs, which are a lot of fun. I bought some of these last year, I really like those. And then we had some fun craft finds that I didn't show you in my last video, like these moss covered rabbits. Those are really cute and the lights in an egg style and in a bunny style. So I thought those were a really interesting find. Here is a surprise. Look at this. It is a, a mat, maybe for by your sink or by your door. I only saw two different styles, but I haven't seen these before. That was kind of a big surprise to see. And then we have some peep scratch cards. I feel like I showed these to you before in my last video, but just in case I wanted to throw it in to this one. And of course we have the Easter candy. Lots of good finds in here, but I wanted to highlight a few. This is a Cold Stone Creamery Resort a popcorn bag. Mm, that just sounded so good for some reason. We have warheads for those who like the sour candy. They have them in chewy bunnies. The gummy 
hoppers, the happy hoppers. These are little gummy bunnies. And of course they have peeps and like so many different flavors right now. And you can get one sleeve of them for $1.25. Here is all the art stuff, but I pretty much went over this in my last shop with me. So go watch that video. I'll put the link down below so you can watch it after you watch this one to get a little bit more of a glimpse. And then we have summer stuff coming, you guys. It's right around the corner. I've already pointed out a couple of these items to you before in previous videos, but more is coming. These little flyers here, which are a lot of fun. We have these goggles, which you guys tell me are horrible. So I'm going to believe you. And then we have the cones, which are great for outdoor play and games. New selection of kites this year, which I haven't seen before in the past. So I'm very excited to see these and curious to know if they work. Sidewalk chalk is coming out too. These sidewalk chalk holders are pretty good. We have the bubble wands, which is pretty much a standard. <laughs> Lots of different balls and sand toys are starting to come out on the shelves too. Getting very excited for all of the summer things. This was new to me. It's a package of bubble wands. Haven't seen that before. I love these water squirters. We use them and buy them all the time. We had badminton birdies. This little game here, which is a catch and toss game. Don't know if that's worth it. If you do, let me know. As well as all of these other outdoor games that I'm showing you. If you've had experience with them, I'm very curious. Tell me if you like them or if they were a flop. There was one new toy that I haven't seen before, which is this catch and release game. So you push the button and it pops out the ball. I thought that was kind of fun. I have to go home with that. And then we have the butterfly nets. You guys, these are great for water play. If you have a water bin and catching things from your water bin instead of catching butterflies. And then you always know summer is just around the corner when they bring the sand buckets out to the water buckets for the beach. And they bring out all of the little pinwheels to go in your garden. Moving on to other parts of the store, I want to show you some interesting surprises that I found and have not seen before in the past, including these little sticker set. I really did like this insects one down here. I thought this would be great if you're doing a study on insects, particularly with those preschoolers who love stickers. Really made me laugh. It's a fidget trading paper, which is hysterical because if you know what this is, you know that kids just make them with paper. So I thought that was interesting. We have this little paint by number kit, which was cute. Comes with the paints and it's like a pop art theme. I thought that was interesting. And then a really big surprise find was this dry erase map where you can write in all of the states and the other side it has the oceans and the country. So perfect for those homeschoolers out there. And they have some new readers. This is kind of like highlights what you're reading on a page for those early readers to keep them on track. They come in this new dinosaur style. And then we had some new workbooks here that have a little handle on top, which was a fun surprise. So if you like these workbooks for doing some early learning or homeschool or taught school at home, these would be a great find. I found the counting one and a phonics one, and I bet there is an alphabet one out there. I just haven't seen it yet. I used to have a name brand of these back in the day before they have the nicer label makers. Basically it stamps the letter on a little ribbon of tape so you can make some labels. If you tried it, let me know. This is new. And then over in the party section, which I don't go to enough, they had some really cute party decorations. These go on the back of chairs. They're little dinosaur tails. How cute are those? And then also I wanted to point out the party poppers. These come two to a package with confetti inside and they had a lot a cute tableware for parties. So I'm looking at the napkins here and they all had the matching plates to go with them. Kind of in love with the rainbow napkins too. All right, so I got my things. We're going to go home. I'm going to get in front of the camera and show you my haul. Let's start off with all of the Easter finds because that's the newest of the new Easter eggs, you guys. There's so many different options in Easter eggs, and these are the absolute cutest. I actually got two packages of them. There's eight inside, four different colors per package, two each of each color. But if you turn it around, you'll notice on these little Lego bricks, they have holes on the bottom. So that's telling me that these can probably stack on one another. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling these are going to sell super, super super duper fast. Of course they open like they would any Easter eggs. So if you see some Easter eggs that you like, you need to grab them because I'm telling you right now, they're going to sell super fast, especially these. These are new this year. We've never seen them before at Dollar Tree. So these are so cute. Also a good find are these cars. They come in a rainbow. There's six different ones in here and they also come in a truck style. So they open just like Easter eggs. The wheels don't move. It's just all plastic, but they are also a great find. Then I found some Easter eggs that have a sea theme on them. So there's little shards 
sharks, there's little starfishes, some fish, that sort of thing. And then these would be great to use year round for like an ocean themed sensory bin. And then to go along with that, there's also some seashells too. So I was thinking the same thing for these that they can also be used in a sensory bin, sensory play year round, not just for Easter. So use these as Easter eggs, but then bring them out throughout the year. You could use all of them in different activities. You could use these for counting. You could use these for STEM and building. You could use these in a sensory bin for sensory play. You could use these as counters. So there's a lot of different possibilities just with these Easter eggs and you've spent a few bucks. More Easter finds, peeps, marshmallow scented Easter grass. What? <laughs> That's basically what I said when I saw that. They do smell like marshmallows. I kid you not. They come in a couple different colors. I got the green because green grass, right? And my thought is to use this for sensory bins or for Easter baskets, whichever one you want. But they did have all the different colors. But I just thought it was a fun find and involved scent. Speaking of sensory play and sensory bins, we have some felt stickers. I have some carrots here. There's nine in here. I wish there was ten because then you could do some counting activities. They are stickers. So they have the adhesive on the back, but they could still be used for tinker trays and invitations to play. Also use them for card making. And of course we had to get the bunnies to go with them. There's eight in the bunny pack and three different color bunnies. And then the same thing, they have the adhesive on the back. So found some confetti and these also come in a couple of different styles. So the one I got, this one has, let's see on the top, there's Easter eggs. This one we have Easter bunnies. And then in the bottom are flowers. So you can do spring theme activities with these, not just Easter themed activities, table scatter, using them on cards, putting these into sensory bottles would be really, really cute to have a Easter or spring themed sensory bottle. Little bunny erasers. There's eight in this little package. And of course they're meant to be eraser. But when I see these, I see manipulatives, math manipulatives for counting, for solving math problems, base 10, 10 frames, that sort of thing. And then if you watched my Tinker Tray video for St. Patrick's Day, you saw me use some gold straws. So when I walked into Dollar Tree and I saw the pastel paper straws, of course I had to get them for possibly putting them in an Easter Tinker Tray. So that video, I need to work on that because I'm sure you guys want an Easter one, right? So we have green, blue, pink, and purple, and there are 18 straws in here, and they're just paper straws. In my shop with me, you saw a whole bunch of muffin cups, cupcake liners, whatever you want to call them, baking cups. There's 18 in here. I ended up with the purple because purple, right? I've got to get the purple. Uh, there's also tons of different patterns of these, but I think the basic colors will go a lot farther other than just Easter. One quick mention I wanted to make for St. Patrick's Day. This is the last St. Patrick's Day find I'm going to purchase. Two more necklaces. In my Tinker video, my Tinker Tray video for St. Patrick's Day, I had one of these necklaces and it had on here St. Patrick's Day letters written on the necklace. And so I was, just wanted to point out to you guys that they have them with just the, the clovers, the shamrocks. So if you wanted that as an option, they do exist. They are out there. You just have to look for them. And these come to, to a package. Moving on to the art supplies. My last haul, you guys saw that I bought a whole bunch of canvases and I was going to use them for Cricut projects. And those Cricut projects are halfway filmed. So they are coming. See, I told you I would do it. I just got to finish them up for you. So I got two more of the five by seven. These are the two pack and they're not, you know, they don't have the wood on the back. So I got two more of those, but this was new to me. Have they had these for a long time? And I just did not know, but he has to tell me. So they're the square canvases. So I got two of the square canvases. These are eight by eight. I like that size. I just think it's a cool take. If you wanted to do like a whole series of paintings, you could have them, you know, side by side and up and underneath each other and make another square. Thought that would be really cool. So we stocked up on some canvases. These are a lot of fun. We have a pretty good set of paint brushes, but we needed the larger ones. And so that's what I was looking for in the Dollar Tree paint brushes. I'm not expecting too much from them because they are from Dollar Tree. So I was looking at the top right here to make sure that there was like an even edge because some of them are a little jagged. So it was telling me that they just weren't the best cut. I guess you could cut it if you wanted to, but I ended up going with these two. So this is like a large brush and a really fine super one, which I probably don't need. And this one's more of like a smaller medium brush with a, another smaller brush than that. These are kind of new to Dollar Tree. They just started them recently and I'm so glad they have. They're meant for crafting, general crafts, but they're the wood planks packages. So inside this one, there are six pieces. Are there six in here too? Yeah, six in here too. And so we have the square and then we have the rectangular 
triangular shaped and they're just really thin pieces of wood or you know plywood that kind of thing my daughter had gotten a wood building kit from Lake Shore Learning for Christmas and I thought these would be great to put in there to replace some of the pieces she's already used and of course you can just use wood glue with these you can paint them you can you know make them into things and I thought it'd be a great way to replenish that kit so i got two of those my other daughter also has a bead kit which we haven't really gotten into yet but i thought this might inspire some creativity it's where you place all of your beads here for when you're making a necklace or a bracelet and i thought it might be a good way to set her up to kind of visually plan out a necklace also has all those little sections there in the middle where you can put all your extra beads that you're working on it's just a piece of plastic but it feels like it has like a little flocking on there to help prevent everything from rolling if you have any experience with this i'd love to hear what you think and tis the season for all kinds of birthday parties usually around this time of year we have a lot of birthdays and events and things that need to gift wrap so i'm stocking up this one is a new one to me it has the rainbow colors on here which i think is great because it will match a lot of things so i actually ended up with two of those and then we have just a variety of other packages here this is just standard happy birthday with some blue and then we have two with metallic on it metallic stripes and kind of party theme there i didn't notice that these packages are coming with five while these are coming with eight i don't know if this is because these are newer or it's because of the metallic probably because of the metallic but just something to be mindful of of how many you're getting for the same price a few years ago i was not impressed with the dollar tree wrapping paper at all but now i am i'm a big fan of it i'm a big believer it's not as thick as some that you'd find at a different store but it doesn't rip like it used to so i got this one that has balloons on it with her just like general birthday and then this one flowers on it so like just general you know present wrapping or even for mother's day that kind of thing so i just thought that pattern was really pretty then we have the odds and ends the kind of random things at the end of my videos so we have the goodie um hair ties the goodie brand they'll come around every now and then so we're gonna stock up i did end up getting some of this adhesive and I haven't tried this before it's Bostic adhesive but this side has like a fine tip and this side over here has like a broader tip so I wanted to try it so this is for crafts wood paper and fabric dries clear so I don't know we'll give it a shot I'm wondering is, isn't that a, like a name brand I'm not 100% sure if it's a name brand or not or more of a generic brand and then I got a card definitely recommend cards this one is a birthday card for my sister if you're not getting cards at Dollar Tree you are missing out because they are really really good and then over in the toy section I found this maze labyrinth I've seen mazes there at Dollar Tree before but I really like this one particularly because it's got the two handles so visual tracking there's actually two marbles in there um, visual tracking working your hand eye coordination to get those to one end of the maze and I'm not sure if there's other themes this one is hard to see it but it's a um, ocean theme in it I did show you a whole bunch of other things that were not in this video that are Eastern spring related in my last Dollar Tree shop with me. So I'm going to put that up on the screen so you can go watch that next. I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.